Hello and welcome to Melissa Data, your partner in data quality. This video covers using MatchUp for SSIS. My name is Matthew Bain, the product specialist here at Melissa Data. MatchUp for SSIS is part of the data quality suite for SSIS from Melissa Data. This suite includes Personator, which verifies and appends contact data, Contact Verify, which standardizes, verifies, and corrects U.S. and Canadian contact data, Global Verify, which verifies, parses, and standardizes international addresses, Smart Mover, which processes change of address for U.S. and Canadian records, Fuzzy Match, which links related records, fuzzy algorithms, and match thresholds, and MatchUp, which identifies duplicate records with domain-specific knowledge of contact information. MatchUp is a powerful record matching service. Some of the key aspects are custom matching criteria, list intersection, list suppression, golden record, and survivorship. Criteria matching lets you specify what kind of match you are looking for. This can involve simple householding, custom criteria or choice of data types to be evaluated, or advanced matching algorithms. The benefits are that it is user-defined, therefore extremely flexible, and it can catch complex data errors specific to your situation. List intersection and suppression can compare existing records to a new list. The benefits of this are that it can update your database with the latest data, it can stop duplicate records from entering the system, or it can flag suppression records. This is extremely useful. You don't want to send a letter to a deceased person or someone on a do not call list. Golden record designates duplicate record output. This lets you select which record to keep from a group of matched records, like remove the duplicate with the least complete data or oldest date, and survivorship rolls data into a single record, which lets you create a single customer representation. The benefits of this are you can ensure that your best data is preserved and that no data is lost. Today we will cover a simple data matching. First off, we need a file that we want to input. The test file I'll use has eight records. I already ran this through the contact verify component so that we know the quality of our data. We want to check for duplicate records. There are three simple steps to this. Step 1, prepare the environment. Step 2, set up the data flow task, which involves the data source, the MD matchup component, and a data destination. And step 3, execute the package. Step 1, prepare the environment. I've already done this, so all you need to do is set up your input file and connect it to matchup. The Melissa Data components are located here under the Common section in the toolbox. Step 2 Set up the data flow task. Edit the matchup transform. The matchup transform has six tabs match code, field mapping, options, survivorship pass through, lookup pass through, if you have a lookup source, and output filter. Match code tab Specify the matching rules. In the drop down menu, there are a number of pre built match codes that will fulfill most of your needs. I'm selecting address, last name. This will match records in our data based off of address and last name. Field mapping tab. Select the columns and their data types to map into MatchUp's match code data types. This tells the component the format of your incoming data, making pre-formatting unnecessary. Options tab. Specify processed information and golden record selection. If you want these output columns, you need to give them a name. They are quite useful, so I will be naming them. Then for golden record selection, I'm choosing the data quality score algorithm. This will take the result codes from the previous data cleansing into account when selecting the best record. Survivorship pass-through tab. Configure your desired output structure. Here you can choose to have simple data pass-through or use advanced survivorship. I'll set up an advanced survivorship and use first non-empty data for the age column. Lookup pass-through tab. Configure the optional second input source. This tab will only be visible if there is a second input source. We don't have one, thus you don't see anything. Output filter tab. Specify which pin your records are output to. By default, all data will be put through pin 1. Matchup generates result codes to indicate the output match status of your data and the criteria which found the respective match. Using these filters for result codes allow you to specify which data you want and where you want it. I will set up pin 1 to take deduped records with pin 2 set up to take the duplicates. Click OK and save the SSIS configuration. Now connect the matchup component to the outputs. And this is our data flow. We have one data source connected to the matchup component with two data destinations, one for deduped records and one for the duplicates. 
Step 3. Execute the package. Click the Run button and wait for the results. And here I opened our source file and the two destination files. The easiest way to check the data is by reviewing the result codes appended to it. In our destination file named sample8dduped, you see that we have two records with ms02. This means the record has duplicates. So if you look at our other destination file, sample8dupes, you see the two duplicate records. And take note of the golden record here. In our source file, records 7 and 8 have different phone numbers. Matchup shows the best phone number based off of the result codes. And if you look at records 4 and 5, they have the same result codes. So instead of golden record, survivorship kicks in and preserves the age data from record 5. Also, there are more possible matches here, where the name and phone number match. Since we did an address and last name match, these would get through. But if we had set up a phone number match, records 2 and 3 would match, but nothing else. With matchup, you can use the pre-built match codes or even make your own, opening up the possibilities to match whatever your data matching needs are. And there you have it, an unmatched software. I hope this was helpful, and remember you can always contact Melissa Data online at www.melissadata.com or call us at 1-800-MELISSA. Have a nice day.